What is up guys, Jay and Poop here, back with more Resident Evil 2 in the last video. Well, we have finished off the first half of the game with Leon S. Kennedy. Uh, got into the Raccoon City Police Department and um, uh, we are now in the basement and we met with Ada Wong. AKA the bitch in the red dress. In this video we are going to um, uh, go and do some more um, uh, things to do. And first off we need to still stay in the basement because there's something we need to do. First off use that key. Oh shit. I've been killed straight away. Well, okay then. Uh, uh, I did save before doing the recording anyway, so yeah. I was not expecting to die that quick. Wow. You once again stepped into the world of survival horror. Good luck. Oh my god, wow. Okay. Uh, and I put my ink ribbons away because I have to. I was trying to kill that liquor. I was not expecting an instant death. Wow. So that doesn't happen again. Jesus Christ. <sighs> right. But I did save before, luckily, so it doesn't really matter. If I was, like, still halfway there and I didn't save, then that would be a big problem. Uh, anyways, let's uh, go... Oh, shit. Oh, my God! Are you serious? Evil. Lovely. Oh, my fucking God. Wow. We're just, is, is the first part of the video just going to be dying, dying, and dying again? Uh, and I'm trying to kill him uh, without using the herb, so then I can heal myself after. Then it saves herbs then. I'd say after a few damage, then I'll use the herb. Um, uh, why not? Okay. I should have gone through that door earlier, but I completely forgot about it. Because there's something important in that door as well. So in fact, I'll kill that liquor first because obviously enemies don't come back. Well, at least most enemies, anyway. I think the later ones do, but these ones don't. Whenever you leave the room and come back. Oh, shit. No, 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 no. Change. Right, I'm in danger. Not only combine this, but also heal yourself. There we go. I'm still going to take a bit of damage. There we go. I'm about full health because I'm walking normally, so... So we're gonna use the key. And then... Yeah, there's some zombies in here. We're gonna go here to find a card key. And you will need this card key. Uh, for... Well, I don't think you do, actually. Uh, it's completely optional. Uh, because it's used for... So, remember that temperature we had to do to open up this uh, card thing here? Well, this activates the card key thingy. Then you use your card key there, and then you can go in that door, finally. And in this room is something very important. And if you grab it now, you cannot get it in Scenario B. Uh, you can get it... If you get it... If you get some items in Scenario A, you cannot get it in Scenario B. So, if we get this with Leon, we cannot get this with Claire. Uh, so, and it's right here. I believe it's a machine gun and a pack kind of thing. Uh, I'm going to get the machine gun because... Um, so, the side pack, this allows you to carry more items. Uh, but, since we want to save that for Claire later, we're going to get the machine gun instead. Or you don't have to. Um, uh, but I'm going to get the machine gun. Since I think the machine gun's more important, <laughs> which takes two slots, uh, and oh, there's another one there. But uh, the other items will come back though, the ammunition and all that, because obviously you need them. Uh, well, you don't really, but you know, in case you need more guns and all that. 
So, yeah. So now we're going to go upstairs. Because that's where we need to go for the rest of the game. Kind of. And the other door we need to open with this key is this one right here. And then there's one more door after that. That we, need, that we have to open. Luckily we have an item slot available. So we can go in here and then get something. And it's this gun here. A magnum. Of course we don't need that yet. Because it's going to be ages until we're going to use that for real. So yeah. Uh, but we will need it for later. But we don't really need it. But it's, it is recommended. It's recommended to use more powerful guns. Uh... Since you never know, uh, uh, shit might happen. Okay. And then the other room we need to go to. Uh, also, if you're wondering about films, there's only one more left in this playthrough. Even though we got uh, D and C. No, no, we got D and I believe A. There's only one left and that's B. So, that is because the C film, film C, is not in this play. It's not in scenario A. Uh, and I'm not joking, uh, I looked that up, you can only get it in Scenario B, I believe. Well, I don't know, maybe you can, but the video I looked at, which was for the original game, uh, only said, uh, Leon B and Claire B, so... So, from the looks of it, you can only get it in Scenario B. So, yeah. But we can get all the others, though. They may be in different locations, depending on character and scenario as well, so... You gotta keep an eye on that. And this is the last time we use this key. Because there's something else in here that we definitely need. Um, there's nothing there. Oh, and there's another film in here, of course there is. Uh, but there's something more important than that. Um, and that is this right here. We light a fire here. There we go. So we go here first. To 12. Then you go here. 13. And then all the way here, which is 11. You have to do it in that order. If not, then... I don't know what happens, because I've not had something bad happen. I never did this in wrong order. And so then something out of this picture falls out. You want to pick it up. Uh, not look at the painting. Pick it up. There we go. Bend over, Leon. But yeah, there's another film here, but I don't have enough room to have it. No idea why. You know, I'll equip, I'll equip, I'll equip the machine gun, actually. Okay, here we go. Uh, because other than the um, the film in there, we're pretty much done everywhere else. So I think I'll come back here later just for the film. Uh, unless there's like a lockpick area or something like that, then I'll get something from there. But in the meantime, uh, we don't really need anything. Okay. Get in the door. Because I need to put things away. In fact, I'll put these things away and then I'll get the film. And then, because we've got to, um, because we need to, I need the crank anyway. Because uh, remember that area that we couldn't go through, that we could use the crank for, but but we only couldn't because obviously, um, uh, I forgot what I was saying now. Uh, uh, you know what, fuck it, I don't need this gun anymore. Uh, I'll just, uh... I'll just put the ammunitions away and all that. Okay, there we go. So I've got enough room there. Uh, I'm not going to use my shotgun yet, but of course, uh, you know, if we get more ammunition, then... Yeah. So, yeah, I forgot what I was going to say now. Um... Do -do -do. Right, so let's go back in that area and get the film first, even though, even though, again, the films are not required to finish the game, but they are recommended. 
Um, I also did back up my save onto another memory card on my GameCube, so... Uh, so I'm gonna save a lot in this playthrough, uh, if necessary, so... So whenever we die, we'll go back in that area. Because there's no continues in the first three Resident Evil games, unfortunately. There is in Code Veronica and up, but not in the first three. So not in the trilogy, basically. Uh, so let's go here. And then all the way here, we get the film. Which we won't need yet, but... Still. Well, we're, actually, we don't need the films to finish the game. They're just completely optional. Uh, they're not even required to finish the game. Unless if this game gets re-released or something, then I guess they could be used for, like, achievements or trophies or something. I don't know. If the original release does get re-released. Uh, and not just the remake a lot. Because most people care about the remake more than the original. But I actually like the original. I never played the remake personally, but still. Same with Resident Evil 3. As well as the first Resident Evil. And now Resident Evil 4 is getting a remake in 2023. It's insane, isn't it? And the skipping Code Veronica remake. Like, why? <sighs> Let me guess, next uh, next few years, we're also going to get a Resident Evil 5 remake. And then years after that, a Resident Evil 6 remake. And then probably a Resident Evil 7 Biohazard remake. Oh, oh shit. Hey, liquor. Oh. Oh, no, I'm not damaged. Oh, my God. Go in here quickly. Because we need to go in the library. do 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 and then, this happens. Zombies come through the window! To do some eating up. Oh, tasty chocolate. So, so we need to go upstairs. Do 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 do. So then we go in here, and then we use the crank on this little bastard over here, and then, so this is the only time we use this crank, because after that, it's gone, yay! If I brought the crank up here earlier, then I could I could have done this uh, earlier. But but there's something we need to do up here. We could not do yet until we got this gear. So I guess it's necessary to do it all in one or something like that. I guess for speedrunning purposes, but still. So it's best to to do things when it's right to do it anyway. So right here, we not only find the night plug, but we can also. No, we can go down it. Yeah, I'll go back to the film area later. We don't have to uh, go back down. And we get a cutscene. No! Get away! No! Something's happened. Now, what's this way? Oh, it's just the other door. Okay. Well, let's go back to Ben then and see what's up with him. Oh my 
God, what is that little shit? Ada. Good God, what was that? And then we get to read the letter mailed to the chief. We're not gonna read it. Fuck it. It's from someone called William Birkin. We'll find out who he is later. Where are you going, Ada? To the chemical plant. I have a feeling that's where I'll find John. Ada, wait! Hey! She's not listening. <laughs> Do you read me, Claire? We now have access to the back of the parking lot. Got it. I'm getting out of here and heading to the sewer. Can you meet me there? I'm on my way. And at this point, uh, let's. What happens if we go here? A miserable death. <laughs> that's that's all. Come on, Leon. Should say something better than that for someone's death. Oh my god. But before we go to the area where we're supposed to, which is that door that we saw there, uh, we're gonna go and put that film back in the thing, that thing area. So then, so we can uh, look at it. And then after that, we'll go back down. <coughs> oh boy, I just burped. And again. It's lovely. I love burping so much. It's a hobby. <sighs> no, not really. And there's zombies here. So we're just gonna, I'm just going to use my machine, machine gun. Oh, hello. Hello, fucking zombies. Hello, motherfucker. Hello, motherfucker. Mother fucking zombies! Oh, and we're on caution. Oh my god. 90%. Wow. How much How much uh, ammunition is in this machine gun? Because it, show it, as, it shows it as percent and not, um, you know, the normal um, ammunition and all that. So we're going to go back to where, the fil where we put the film in. Which I know where it is, anyway. Uh, because on the map, it shows that's not the map. Uh, that is, and it's all the way there. You can easily access it. Leon, that is, this is not a treadmill, this is a building. We need to go to the film area. Okay. There we go. Uh, what's for here? Is there something in these? No. I don't think there is. Because I know there's a film in here, but obviously I don't know if I've got it already or if you can only get it in the second scenario. Like, I, st st I can't remember that, but still. <sighs> right, there we go. This is it. In fact, after that, we'll... Uh, in fact, no, I won't save. I'll save before the other area. Do use that and then what is it film b it's a dead zombie picture in front of the arceus taylor regressed into a zombie within two hours subject repeatedly complained about severe atigation of the epid how the fuck do you say that word oh my god <laughs> in addition to feelings of uh, nausea uh, i think that's how you say it uh, this happened up to the moment of his lost consciousness, pictured by R. Lambert. How the fuck do you have to say those words? If Let me know in the comments, guys, because I don't know how to fucking say them. Oh my fucking god. Uh, there's nothing we really need to put away. Um, I guess I'll put the, the shotgun ammo away. Um, 
Uh, we'll need that plug. I don't know if we'll need that lockpick uh, small key anymore, so... Um, I won't need the herbs yet. And I'm not going to save yet, but by the time we get to the save point... In fact, can we open this? Or not? No, a special key is required. Okay. Is there anything in these lockers? No, there isn't. I don't think there's anything there to save a typewriter as well. Okay. Now let's go to the proper mission. I, I think I'm going the long way here. No, uh, not this way. We'll go to the, the shorter way. Wrong way, Leon, Leon, Peon. <laughs> Oh god, that's a lot of buns at the same time. Alright, now we'll go to the proper area. I've got an itchy foot. What the fuck? Then get get in the fucking door! Oh my god! Okay. And something bad's happening. Oh, it's just... I don't know why this music has to play. Okay. And now, let's go to the basement. Doo -doo -doo, freezing Leon! Oh my god! Doo -doo 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 -doo. <laughs> if you mash the button, we. <laughs> okay. I wonder if policemen do that on the job when they're trying to ice skate or something. <laughs> when they're trying to chase someone on ice skating or something. I don't know. Uh, which way do I need to go? Oh, uh, so close, right. Luckily, we weren't far. Okay. Then we go through this room. I'll just call the police's coffee room or something. It's probably where they drink their coffee or tea. I don't know. Or any of the any drinks that policemen drink. Um, a cup of policeman. Cup of police tea or something. I don't know. I hear a zombie, but I'm not going to kill it. I'm just going to leave it there. And now... Uh, uh, no, we're not going to shoot Leon. No, no, no. Uh, we're going to go this way. And then... Uh, fuck that door. And then go to the parking lot. Go past the Coke machine. It's probably a Coca-Cola one. I don't know. Then we're going to go here, because this is where we need to go to the rest. And then, then we need to go over there to the uh, manhole. I think we're going to meet a spider, I believe. Yes, I'm right. Spider. Let's kill it. So I'm not getting poisoned by it. You bitch. <laughs> Am I poisoned? No, I'm not. That's a good thing. Good boy spiders for dying. <laughs> Naughty spiders. Do, 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 do. Uh, first things, I'll get a herb out. So then. In fact, no, I won't get a herb. I'll just get the red herb out. In case I find a green herb out there, and then I'm gonna save here. Oh, there's uh, there's increments here as well. Okay, uh, I'm gonna save here because I did save before. Uh, well, I did um um what do you call it? I did back up the original save. So if if I screw up with this, then I can pretty much um go back to the uh. I can just copy it back on then and redo the recording. So, yeah. Hopefully, I don't want to... Hopefully, I should not do that, though. Uh, so, but I do that just in case. I'll probably do it with Claire's playthrough as well. Um, then, we get a cutscene. It's this thing that killed Ben. And it was the human Ben, not talking Ben. No, he's not dead. He's still alive. Especially for speed. 
<laughs> oh my god, he looks like E.T. Oh my god, E.T.'s now in a horror... Okay, no. And I'm just gonna keep shooting it. With this machine gun. All these parasites can just bite my neck. Oh, I killed it. Wow. Okay. It's locked, yep. Yeah. And I've got that plug right here. And I'm gonna get in there quick before they bite me, because they'll get off me eventually. But yeah, the machine gun is literally fast. You can just kill it in seconds. Well, at least on easy mode anyway. I don't know about other difficulties. Ada! <laughs> what was that all about? Running off like that was reckless and stupid. Those zombies are everywhere. Not to mention that thing that got bent. I was there, Leon. I know. Look, Ada. As an officer, it's my job to look out for you. But we're not going to get through this alive if we don't work together. Okay? Alright. We'll do this your way. And then, then Ada will follow us wherever we go now. Yeah. So we need to go through this area, sewers. We need to go up here. Oh, there's blue herbs. Definitely need them. Well, we don't need them, but... What are you doing, Ada? Climb up! There we go. Wow. You weren't even climbing up. Oh, and this is a save room. Yeah, this thing right here. And then, there's another ink ribbon here. We'll use for later. And uh, that will... Uh, okay, there we go. Uh, we'll put these blue herbs away. Um, we will need this wheel for later, so we'll carry it now. I'll still keep my machine gun for now. Okay, um, is there anything else? Here. Oh, just more bullets that we don't need. I'll put them back as well. There's nothing here. Uh, this elevator will go down in a moment. Uh... Uh, let me just put that uh, ammunition back in there, because we don't need that shit. The, this piece of shit can go back in there. There we go. Out of my way, Ada. I'm gonna go in there. Dude, Oh, shit. What did I just kick? <laughs> I think it was my laptop power supply. And then we get a cutscene. Uh, why? Is she important? <laughs> and then we get to control Ada Wong again. But first, we need to get the sewer map. Uh, don't worry, this will go back to Leon when we control him later. So, so, don't worry, you're not controlling Ada for the rest of the game. No, no, no. Oh, that woman's there. Uh, but let's see what's this way. Oh, spiders. Spiders up here. What are they doing here? I have no idea, they're spitting acid. I can't really kill them. And her gun can only hold 13 bullets. I can't really kill it. Okay, it don't really matter. Alright, and then let's just go up this ladder. Uh, there are some herbs on the other side, but Ada cannot pick them up. Only Leon can. Pretty much any item that is pick that is pickable cannot be picked up by Ada for the most part. Oh, and something in here, but let's get out quickly before we get killed. Then in a moment we're gonna get yet another cutscene. Right here.
You're the one who's with that cop, if I'm not mistaken. Identify yourself. Ada? Ada Wong. Ada Wong. I've heard that name before. Now I remember. One of the men from Chicago who came to assist the T-Virus research used his girlfriend's name as his password. Ada and John, I believe. How did you know? Who are you? Annette Bergen. My husband is the man responsible for the creation of the T-Virus. William Bergen. What? John's dead. He became one of those zombies. My condolences. And don't know I regret this. You will be joining him shortly. I won't let anyone take the G-Virus away from me. G-Virus? It's capable of creating the ultimate bioweapon. Its potential is even greater than that of the T-Virus. Then that must mean the creature in the police department is... precisely... My husband, William. And it's all on Rav's fault. None of this would have happened if they hadn't tried to steal his research away from him. This way. It's sheer perfection. My precious G-Virus, no one will ever take you away from me. There he is. So you finally come. Doctor, we're here to collect the G-Virus sample. Sorry, but I won't just hand over my life's work. has the ability to revitalize cellular functions. What was that? Something's wrong. Let's check it out. Over there! Shut it! Eat this, you freak! I'm, I'm stopping it! What is this thing? So those rats were the carriers of the virus. As a result of his virus-induced transmutation, William should have lost any prior memories he had as a human by now. Even worse, every G-virus bioweapon, including William, has the ability to implant embryos into other creatures. And create offspring. No. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. So apparently slapping a woman makes them fall down. Oh my god, that is a right bitch slap right there. <sighs> okay. Right then, let's uh, go to down here. Oops, say no. <laughs> okay. Now let's go down. Seriously. And then... Something's in the fucking river. What the fuck? Ah! A 
Vader. Then we control Leon again. So, now we go this way. And this is where the rest of the game takes place. Starting from down here. We don't go to the police station again anymore. Uh, so first off, what's this way? Uh, get, get the fuck up there! There we go! Oh my god. Oh, of course, it's the wolf medal. But there's something else. Shotgun shells. Anything else? No. And it just looks like we're standing on the bodies. Oh, is there something in his body? Let's see. Is it to see? No, not there. Wait, I see a white dot there. Oh! Oh, spider! Oh, I'm poisoned, I think. Oh my god. There we go. I think I'm poisoned. I think... Yeah, I am. <laughs> but don't worry. There is, like... Um, another herb to find later on, so, uh, so we're coming back, oh shit, we are close to dying, so I gotta get there quick, before I'm dead, oh shit, there we go, I gotta be quick, because I don't think red herbs work. No, they don't. So I'm going to get up here quickly. I'm not going to bother killing that spider. Yet. Uh, because here, there's blue herb. Right here. But I'm in danger still. Yeah, I am. Uh, but don't worry still. And, oh shit, I should have brought some ink ribbons and all, because this, there's another save point and we're about to fight something really hard. In fact, I'll, I'll come back for them. Oh shit! Oh my god. Oh my god. And our last save... Well, luckily it was before... Uh, the thing so I think I'll meet you guys back Okay guys, I'm back and I also just realized because I'm on the GameCube version you can actually also um, Believe it or not you can also not only skip FMV cutscenes which you can do in every other version But you can also skip normal cutscenes as well in the GameCube version which you cannot do in any other version So yeah, that's a big bonus So I was able to get here much quicker uh, so first off, these spiders. Oh, of course. I'm gonna shoot them, there we go. Kill him right there. There we go. Uh, so yeah, I was able to get here a bit quicker than usual, so... That's a good thing, at least. Uh, oh god. Oh shit. Oh, oh my fucking god. Stupid spider. Okay, come on. Okay. Okay. Can't see that. Oh, there we go. I killed the spiders! Yay! And I've not been poisoned! But we're gonna go here. Um, and then... Oh, why? Why did I use that? Well, I guess I needed to use it anyway for full elf. But man, wow! I was not—I uh, was not trying to use that. It don't matter anyway. Fuck it. Um. Okay, but uh, you can also heal yourself with poison right here, uh, in case you were poisoned by the spiders. Luckily, so yeah. But we killed the spiders, so it don't really matter now. This is where you need to use this wheel. There you go. And then you go across and before you go through that door, you'll want to use the wheel again on the other side. And I'm going to combine both of these. Uh, for later. I'm going to equip the shotgun as well. Because there's a reason we're doing that. 
Then, we're going to get this uh, right here. Shotgun shells. Uh, I'm going to do this again, because I highly recommend you do this. Okay. Uh, is there any? If, is there anything else? We won't. We will need the wheel one more time, but uh, not now. Um, is there anything else here? Uh, we're gonna save here. I definitely recommend you do. Uh, if you're not playing this through save states, or if you're on real hardware, I recommend saving before doing this because this fight can lead to um, instant death if you're not careful um, and you have to be very quick I also recommend the shotgun as well because the shotgun does a lot of damage to it Ada. Ada's shooting something but then it rises a crocodile yes a crocodile <laughs> yes and you know what it'll do. It will eat you. So we're going to shoot it twice. Then I'm going to run. I'm going to shoot it again. I'm going to run again. And I'm going to do that. There we go. I'm going to keep shooting it. Gonna, uh, no, pause. There we go. Because it's best to reload like that. Come on, shoot it quick! Boom, it's dead! Well, not really dead. It just fucks off. As you can see here. And we don't have to fight that crocodile again in this playthrough. It's this way. It's collapsing. It's dangerous to enter. Yeah, it definitely is. So, yeah, that's the crocodile. So yeah, I'm going to equip that back. There we go. And I'm still fine, so we're okay. Then this door is closed, or something, this thing's closed, so we're going to open it like this. And then we're going to go up to Ada right here. And this happens. We should, and luckily we don't have to walk to the ladders! Yay! It automatically does it for us! But we do have to walk through here though, so... Yeah. And thankfully, because this platform is up, if you didn't do that wheel thing earlier, you would not be able to go through here, so yeah. So, you must do that. And then you go here, to find a file. And we're not really gonna read. Get out of my way, Ada! There we go. Then, we use the wheel one more time, and we put it here. And then, that is the wheel journey done. That is to go up there, because the fan is going too fast. Then it goes slow, so we can go through up there. So now, we're going to go up there. Here we go. Let's go. And now we're gonna go to that coin area again because we got that um because we got the eagle medal. Oh, there's uh, zombies here now. Gonna be careful of them. And Ada didn't get grabbed, that's good. I'm going to progress through here. Luckily, the spiders are gone, so they won't piss us off. Uh, we can go here. 
Oh, for fuck's sake. I'm not even near it. There we go. So that's both of these medals done. And then we can finally go through here. Here we go. Here we go. We're nearly at the end. Oh, something's collapsing. We've got to be careful here. Okay. Do, 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 do. Oh, uh, there might be something here. Let's check these out. Well, more shotgun shells. And more normal shells. Uh, normal bullets, but we don't really need. Oh, we got them for no reason. Oh, the train! Of course! Yeah, this is where it gets a bit weird. So we've got to turn that on and then go in the train. Okay, there we go. Okay. We're on the train. Oh shit! Something's in here. We gotta shoot it. I'm just gonna use my machine gun here. Okay. There we go. Oh wow, there we go. Oh my god, it's near Ada. I don't know what that was. And the train is stopping. Oh no, it's not a train, it's a cable car. Okay. Well, let's get the fuck out of here. And then... Uh, there's nothing on that side, by the way, it's just a cannon that it's not really useful. So then we need to go here. So then we go through these weird corridors. Which we find zombies in here. So I'm just going to kill every zombie. Uh, these can also... Uh, no, no, not Ada. Oh my god. Why would you want to shoot a woman, Leon? That is helping you. Oh, I've run out. I've run out of ammo. Okay, this is where the shotgun begins. Okay, except I don't really have enough ammo, so... Uh, what the fuck is going on? Oh my god. Okay. Oh, he's dead. Oh, thank god. And then... Then we're gonna go this way. Because there's something we got to go through. Because uh, there is a save room up coming ahead. So. So we're going to go. Not this way. It's this way. Oh, we shot his penis. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm going to shoot you. Oh, your head. I, I wanted to shoot your dick. But, okay. <sighs> because there's a save room up here. Uh, along with an item room, so I definitely recommend uh, you go through here. Uh, so, there's more shotgun shells here. There's a magnum uh, thing as well. Uh, go in that. Uh, what the fuck are you doing, Leon? Th Leon! Seriously. Uh, we don't need this anymore, so that can go away. There we go. And then the wheel can go away as well, because we don't really need that. I'm just, like, moving things around. Um, uh, is there anything else we need? No. I think we could put those increments away. There are some herbs, but obviously I'll get them on the way. I'll get that. In fact, there's an increment here. I should have got that before going in there, actually, so then I could have combined them on the way, but, eh, whatever. Uh, there's this here as well. Look at that. Put that away and all. Okay. What, what the fuck? 
In fact, there are some green herbs, I believe, so we can uh, use the red herb and mix it up. And Ada doesn't follow us here. Yay! Okay. Uh, so I'm going to go this way first. I believe there's some green herbs. Yeah, there are. Oh, shit. I'm going to shoot your dick. I'm going to shoot your penis. There we go. Yeah. No, motherfucking... <laughs> All right. Um... Okay, so I'm gonna combine these. Right, yeah. Got two types of mixed herbs. Yay! In fact, I'm gonna use this. There we go. So then I'm fully fine then. Okay. So now we need to go back this way so we can get that box. Because that box has something useful for the shotgun. And we, you will definitely want it. Definitely. Because if you don't have it... Okay, so go here. And then, so then you want to mix it. So then it turns into a powerful shotgun, the sea shotgun. It gives you more ammunition as well uh, to carry, so it has seven bullets now. In fact, what I should have done is I should have used them free up and then combined it after, so then it gives me all the others already. Uh, so then uh, we have... We're conserving ammo, then. Oh, wrong way, Leon. Oh, my God. All right, we'll go up here. Got an itchy head. I'm going to go back in the item box. I'm going to um, move that up here. Uh, I'd say we uh, combine them together. So then it makes that. There we go. Uh, then we'll put that up here. I don't know if we'll need that blue herb again. Uh, is there anything else we need before leaving? No, I don't think so yet. So we'll just leave those three for now. Um, and there's nothing else in here either. Oh, of course, there is this magnum bullet thing we'll put away now. Uh, what the fuck are you doing, Leon? <laughs> Leon! What are you doing? Stop fucking around! I don't think we'll need this uh, key anymore. We just put it away. Why not? Okay. Then, oh, I think I see something there. Oh, no, it's nothing. Oh, wait, there is ammunition here, though. That we don't really need, but, eh, it's there. And there is this map. You'll definitely want that. I don't think you can come back here later. You cannot. So, then we need to go in this train right here. Well, it's kind of like a train, but not really. And Ada's stuck down there. <laughs> Then, what we need to do is, well, there's something here, oh, there's more magnum ammo, I will need for later, but more importantly, keys, the C panel key, uh, or control panel key, I think that's what it means. So then we need to go right here, Leon, oh my god. And then use the key! No, no, that's not the key. This is the key. Then activate it, and then... What the... <laughs> okay. okay. I'm trying to make a... Uh, trying to make a uh, censored pun, but still. Did we get another F and B cutscene. Oh, that monster's here. <gasps> Ada! 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 Can you hear me? Come on, snap out of it! Then we need to get the fuck out of here. 
so we can fight this bastard up. Oh my god. We don't see it, but we will in a moment. We're gonna walk around until. So, what the fuck? Oh shit! Then you wanna do this, you wanna keep on shooting him. And he will. He gives a lot of damage. And I am on caution already. Oh shit, why am I going? Run! Oh my god! Oh my god. Oh shit! Okay. Right, this is where you want to combine. It's recommended to. Oh my god. Keep shooting it. Got him. He's down. So then we got to go back in the train. I'll combine this again. There we go. Get back in the train. You're just going to pick her up and then put her somewhere. Also, while we're here, what the fuck were those pictures on the side of the bed? Oh my god, they were just pictures of women, I think. Is that Ada or something? I don't know. It's all brunette. And, again, there's more Magnum ammo. Oh my god, they're giving us too many fucking ammunition. Oh my god. Um, okay, uh, increments. I'm gonna save here because I definitely recommend it. I'm just gonna use this, um, now. Um... Well, not fine, but okay. Um, okay, uh, I'm gonna save here actually. So then, um, uh, uh, oh god, I'll put this away. There we go. Uh, that'll do. I'm gonna save here now since, um, because again, I do recommend it. The fucking save! There we go! God damn it! Security room! That's where we are. Then we're gonna put the increments away. There we go. And why did you unequip the shotgun again, Leon? What the fuck is wrong with you? Oh my god. And this is where the rest of the game continues. So we start this way. by going through here. And then this is the big room. So we start off by going through this blue area right here. 
And this is where, this is like the final part of the game, guys. So we start this way. Into this really ice cold Sub-Zero room. Yeah, you can tell it's icy here. Uh, because first we get this thing right here. The fuse case. I think that's what it says. And then... We put this, uh... Yeah, fuse case onto this thing right here. Then it creates this animation. Of an ice crane picking something up. It looks like a pill. Put it in there. For us to pick up, there's a bottle. The main fuse. We definitely want that. Uh, because where we want to put this is in that big hole that we just went past. So we're going to go there. And we can't go through this door yet. Uh, we can't go through here as well. We cannot go through there because the power is not turned on. So we need to turn it on. And the way we do that is by going to the middle, right here, and then putting this shit on. There we go. And then, but then uh, we need to go for here next, so here we go. Then we can turn this on, but there's some, there's two enemies here, so we're not going to deal with them yet. Deal with them later. There is something here. This door we cannot go through, but we can go through this one. But there is something in here that we need to get. And, uh, and it's right here. It's the flamethrower, and it also takes two slots. We go here. Find something. And this is also, I think, no, this is not something we need to remember. Oh! Let me turn this on for something. I don't know what, why you turned that on. User registration, guest, and then password, none. Okay, so that is a hint for later. But not now. And there's some blue herb thing there as well, in case you're poisoned. Uh, I'm going to use the flamethrower on this thing, right up there. So then we can go through here. And go on to the other room, on the other side. Oh, there's liquors here, oh my god. So I think it is a good thing we got. What the fuck?! It's a good thing we saved. <laughs> Fucking Jesus. Wow. Okay, guys, I'm back, and I just killed the lickers, so I'm just going to use that herb. Oh, my God. That scared the shit out of me when I got killed there as well. Oh, my God. We can unlock this door so we can go through it. Oh, there's ink ribbons here. But there's no save point here. Okay. Um, since why would they include a safe point in a room full of enemies anyway? But there's two of these which we might need. Well, I don't think we will need, but I'm going to take them. Because I might need them. Who knows? Uh, there's nothing else in here, really. So, we just get out of here. Oh, my God. Okay, um. But the flamethrower can also kill these enemies in a breeze. But they can also spit poison, so you got to be careful. So now we're going to go down here. And there's another enemy there. I think these die in a few hits. In a, isn't in a single hit with the fire, so yeah. Okay, now this part is where it gets a bit harder. Because there's more liquors. And you want to use your shotgun again. Okay. I'm going to equip the shotgun. Then. And then immediately, you want to keep shooting it. 
then there's another one right there. Which I can't aim at. Come on. This one's very hard. This one's so hard to aim at. Oh my god. In fact, I'll use the flamethrower on him. Oh! Oh shit! I'm on caution already. Oh my god. Oh, thank god, I killed them both. Oh, I'm on danger already. But luckily, there's some herbs here. I could use that um, first aid spray, but... I think there's more herbs here. Let's see if there's anything here. Yeah, there's another herb. Oh my god. Three at once. I definitely want them. There we go. I'm fully fine now. And there's something here. There's a disc. It needs an MO disc. Yeah, remember them from the first Resident Evil? Yeah, you'll need them again. Yeah. Yeah. Then, oh, this is another save room. Uh, an item room. Except it doesn't have the same room theme. So, this is where you can put your things away. Uh, I believe there's another... No, there's no ink ribbon here, no. So you have to bring your own ink ribbons here for for this one. Okay, um... I'll put that away, I don't really need that. Because I got full health anyway, so... So I can just... I'm going to equip this. And then I'm going to go through here. And you'll want to use the flamethrower for one part, especially. It kind of looked like we all tilted. Right, this way we need to go. It's just maggots here. A door with a card key. Right, we need a card key. I know where to get that. Oh, there's a red herb here. Should have used that with one of the green ones, but it don't matter. Because here, we find more zombies, and let's just burn them this time. Yeah, we'll just burn these zombies. There we go. Nah, I don't care about those zombies over there. There's a card key right there. Oh, shit! Get off me. There we go. Yeah, I think they die instantly with the fire. The umbrella card. So then we can go through here. I think there's something here. Oh, not, nothing useful. Is there anything else? Was there anything else in here? I think there was something here. I don't know if you used the card. No, I think you used something else uh, for later to get something there. So I think we come back in this room. Oh, shit, he's still alive. But we crushed his head, so it doesn't matter. Right, here we go. Okay, here we go. Now we can go in here. And we will need this umbrella card again, so... So, yeah. And there is an option to discard it after using it a lot of times. Anyway, whoa! There's a moth in here. You just want to burn it. Oh, it's eating me or something. No, it's... It's things with it. Just burn it to death. There's also something here. These maggots, and you want to burn them all. Oh, fuck, I've lost it all. <laughs> but there's something here. Oh, no, there isn't. Well, then how am I supposed to get that, then? Yeah, because that maggot's still on. I have to shoot it now. How do I get rid of it? Because it auto aims on it. Okay. Do I have to shoot it? Yes, I do. Oh, I can shoot them. Okay. Let's operate it. This is where we enter the password. The username. It's just guessed. There we go. Fingerprint. <laughs> that was weird. 
Registration complete. In 24 hours, yeah. So I believe this opens every door, or most doors, so we're free to enter any room now, yay! So let's get out of here, and then... And there's maggots falling. Um... I forgot if that access is the thing. I don't think it does. I think we go out first, and then... And then we... Right, I'll put my flamethrower away because I don't need that anymore because I used it all up. Um, okay, um, okay. Uh, what else is there? Uh, do we need anything? I don't think we do, no. Right, let's go back up then. Unless there's something on these TVs. Aha! Oh, the map. We get the map from there. I didn't know that. Okay. All right, here we go. All right. Oh, there's liquor. Oh, I think we can use the card to. Oh wait, no, that's for the MO disc again. Yeah, that's it. It's a liquor following us, but... I don't know if it comes back. Uh, I don't think it will. We'll just leave it there. And then, let's climb back up. <sighs> okay. There we go. Then, oh, of course this thing is back. We'll just shoot it uh, two times. There we go. Whoa, acid. It's spitting out. We'll go back to that blue room. Because one of the doors we need a card key for. So let's go there. Is. Yeah, it's useless now. We can also push this door. Which we could have done earlier, but. Eh. I believe. Okay, we'll proceed. Fingerprint verified. Proceed. I need someone else to help me open this door. Oh. Okay. So we need another person to open that door. Uh, what's in here? I don't know if we need something before getting something in here. Oh, there's two things in here. Uh, first aid spray and something else. Oh, just magnum bullets. Of course a zombie will be in here, why not? Oh my god, his, his body. Wow. The light is already on. Let's kill you! There we go. Um, okay. There's a lot of zombies on the floor. Oh, there's something there. That's it. Oh, the MO disc is so we can get escape. Yeah, that's it. Oh, I think we needed something here or something. Or something there. I don't know. I've completely forgot. Uh, or was it here we need to get something? Um, for base machine vaccine. Or is that disc the only thing we need? I'm not sure, but... Like, I forgot most things. A few things. Oh! You! You murdered my husband. I know what you're looking for. You came for the king virus, didn't you? Take it from me. This is my husband's legacy. Now, where's that spy you were working with? You know who I'm talking about. What? You really don't know anything, do you? <laughs> You're so gullible. 
She's one of the operatives sent here by the agency. The only reason why she came here is to obtain the G-Virus. That's a lie. No, it's the truth. I discovered this when I did a background check on her. She specifically got close to John and became his girlfriend to get information about her brother. That can't be. I know her. Ada wouldn't do something like that. If you don't want to believe it, I don't really care. You're about to die anyway. What happened? <laughs> oh my god. And then our lighter is replaced with the G virus, so. The self destruct sequence has been activated. Repeat. The self destruct sequence has been activated. This sequence may not be aborted. All employees proceed to the emergency car at the bottom platform. Okay. But we never get to go here, I believe. Nah, I don't think we ever get to go there. I don't know if there's anything that way useful. And then the music is just uh, all employees proceed to the bottom platform. Yeah, this music's epic. And then we go here, and then we're gonna get yet another cutscene. This time. Okay. Oh, we can pick the- oh, is Ada's gun? There's no rounds in the magazine. Okay. Let's check on that. What made her do that? I, I don't know. <laughs> well, we lost Ada, unfortunately, but we still need to escape. And thankfully, we've got the MO disc, so- oh, oh, shit. Get off me! Get off me! Oh, shit, I think I'm poisoned. Oh, no, I'm not! I thought I would get poisoned, but no. But before we escape, we're going to save before doing this, because this is the last part of the game after all, so, yeah. Right, here we go. Uh, so we, I know where we need to go, though. Uh, we can... Oh, there's a zombie. Oh, my God. Okay, it's a zombie. Oh, shit! Oh, my God. Okay. 
put the ammo disc there. Yeah, then this is where we need to go next. But I'm not going to go through there yet. We'll go through there in a moment. Because this is like the last part of the game. So first off, I'll save because we're here. Oh, I think we can also do this. Uh, I think we can. Or not, I think it's in Claire's playthrough you do that. Okay, I'll heal myself as well. Um, okay, I don't have anything else, so I'll just... Uh, I'll get my Magnum, actually. So, goodbye to the shotgun. And we're going to use the Magnum for the rest of this. Okay. And I'm just going to fill the rest of this with uh, first aid sprays. Okay, there we go. Uh, just bear with me, guys. I'm just going to... Um, I'm going to put these down here. So then I can replace the increment there with another of those. So now I'm going to save. Um, before doing the rest of the game. No, not now. So here we go. And this is the monitor room. Okay. Now I'm going to put that away. There we go. Uh, because we don't need anything else. So, so this is all we need. And we just progress to the other parts. So here we go. So we just progress through here. I don't think we need anything. No, we don't. Okay. I think in Claire's playthrough, you do need something to go through that door. But here, you don't. Five minutes until detonation. This is where the timer comes in. You walk through. realize you can't go anywhere so you're just wandering around only to can't get out and you activate it yes okay there we go then while it activates we gotta fight this monster, which is William Birkin. Because he, again, he ejected himself. I'm just gonna use our Magnum. Oh my god! Did we kill him already? Or is this just his. Nah, this is off the form. Okay, yeah, so this is the final boss of scenario A. So this is where he would jump on the sides as well. And do that. So you want to be very careful. You want to be very careful here. Alright. Keep shooting him. Come on. Oh my god, I think he's dead. This is why the Magnum is recommended. Because it shoots faster. And the elevator is activated. Or it's there for us. Rather. So then, we go through this elevator. Oh, that's a cool animation. And 
Then all we need to do is just walk across and then we finish the game. Alright, so... In fact, let's try and make it shoot the screen. So there's like an Easter egg. Uh, or something. Well, I don't think it'll work here, but... There is like an Easter egg where something like that happens. And it's kind of cool. We just use one of them and then boom! Let's get out of here. And then we're done. Just watch this cutscene right here. How are you going to get on, Leon? Oh. And that is Resident Evil 2. Well, scenario A, at least. And for Leon's story. But we're still not done with this game because we're going to beat this three more times. So with Claire on scenario A, and then on then again with Claire and Leon on scenario B. Which, uh, uh, to get scenario B, you finish, let's say we finish this with Leon, we're going to get Claire scenario B. Then when we beat it with Claire A, we're going to get Leon B. So that's how you get the second scenarios. So yeah. It's interesting, but still. Uh, and scenario B is going to be more difficult than the original. Because it's a bit more extended as well, let's say. So yeah. So it might be two videos each for beating it as one character, but... Uh, it's going to be slightly more videos, so, yeah. <laughs> so, there's that. Okay. But, yeah, Resident Evil 2 is, like, considered the best out of the first three. So, yeah. Um, and also because it's two discs as well. On the PS1 and Dreamcast, anyway, and I think it—I think on PC as well. The CD PC versions have two discs as well, but not the DVD PS2. The, the, the PS2. I mean PC versions. This was never on PS2. Um, but there's only one disc on GameCube, and uh, on N64 it's one cartridge. And I'm surprised they fit it on that cartridge. Even some of the cutscenes. But wow. But yeah, I quite like Resident Evil 2. It's my favourite out of the first three. Um, and then Resident Evil 3 is like alright, but but it's still good, but it's alright. But Resident Evil 2 is better. There we go. And then, for the first time we get a ranking system, and I'm guessing I'm not going to get the best rank. Got an image of Leon in the police department. We got a B rank. Okay, so now in the Japanese version of the game, you uh, the highest rank is an S rank, uh, and then A, B, C, and D. But in the North American and European versions, this was changed to the highest rank being an A rank, and then B, C, D, and E. So if you get an A rank in the English version, you did get an S rank, and yeah, this is on Leon A. We use five saves. 
It doesn't count. It doesn't class all deaths. Okay. Uh, we're gonna save on slot A, right here, and then you can see Claire B, zero zero, scenario second. So yeah, that's what I mean. So meaning, oh no. Uh, so meaning when you load this, um, uh, with Leon. This is eight eight. It's for Claire's story. Yeah. Uh, so yeah. <laughs> and then range. We don't have save data for that. So yeah. So yeah. Scenario B is slightly more difficult than the original. Um, so yeah. Um, and I believe. Um, I think that'll be it for today, guys. So next time on Resident Evil Two. We will do Claire's story, um, uh, scenario A, and then after that we'll do Claire B, and then after that Leon B, because the Claire A and Leon B route is the most, uh, proper way of the story, I guess, for most people, so, I shall see you guys next time, uh, Jane Poop out, and I shall see you guys next time, bye!